Hey everybody, happy St. Patty's Day and happy Friday. As always, we will be doing our giveaways for comments, answers, and shares, so make sure you get those in. When you share, please remember to share publicly so that we can see that you shared. As you can tell, we are in the spirit of Coachella around here today, so we will be bringing you some looks that can help you achieve not only festival hair, but these looks can also be applied to everyday or going out styles. We will be showing you how to take your look from day one to day four, or these looks can be applied on whatever day you're following your excitement leads you to. So you can apply these, you know, we're gonna try and show you in sequence how you could transition from one day all the way to day four, or you can, you know, just apply it to each day. So in the spirit of festival and spring summer events, <laughs> spring slash summer events, we will be giving away the four zip time sets because we think these are going to be really handy this summer. And one of them, or in all four, will come with the time traveler. And this quarter will be, the quarter zip time will be full of the time traveler set, which is going to be awesome. And also, one, um, one thing I really love is this golden ticket winner. So one winner will get the timeless. Um, it's our, we call it our liquid gold around here. It allows you to tame the frizz and flyaways so you can have soft, amazing hair every day. So as um, one person will be receiving the golden ticket of timeless in there. So we love that. I think I might carry on that tradition for a little while. Um, so as always, someone will also be winning the iron from today. So, oh look, it's 111. Ooh, I like that number. Okay, so today we are going to show you some styles for festival hair um, or the four days of Coachella because we I know that it goes on for four days. I haven't been there, but I think that Coachella inspires a lot of really fun styles. And since we are doing a few looks today, I'm going to start styling right away. So I started with um, a headband. Whoops, that's not really on center part. So. So a headband, um, I wear my headband back a little bit because I have a smaller forehead, so headbands look better back here on me, I think, hopefully. Okay, so um, I started with kind of straight hair to show you what that look could start like, or I have curled um, the back of my hair so that I can finish curling that out so that it won't take forever so that we can move on to the other styles because we got a lot of hair to do today because we have different lengths and different um, styles that we're going to be creating so it's a bit it's a heavy hair day but it'll be light in you know like aura but heavy because there's a lot of them all right so um, I'm going to start with a variation of perfectly undone so perfectly undone is the curls that we've been working with mostly lately because it's my highest excitement. I love it. Um, and I'm doing a center part today. Usually we do a side part. So I'm going to try and find where I stopped curling so that I could speed up how many times I'm curling my hair today. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to curl with the headband on so that you can see it with that headband on and I don't forget to add it later. And then we'll um, switch to the other look that I was going to teach you. Okay, so perfectly undone. Um, basically, we start with higher curls in the back. They want to start at like eye level, and then you want to drop them down to um, about the lip level on my length of hair. On shorter hair, you're going to go um, have a higher up um, slope than that, okay? And you're going for um, varied curls in the back, and then in the front face frame area, you're going to have bigger sections that will then so bigger sections that are, are more loosely curled, okay? So you're doing a little bit um, curlier in the back and a little bit looser in the front. So it's so funny because I, you know, because we're still in winter here and so Coachella for us is like, or you know, I'm thinking like it's so far off for us, right? Because it's like a summery outfit. So today I was uh, picking my outfit and then I, I, ironically picked a green shirt so phew good thing because I didn't want to get pinched by all you guys that would be a lot of pinching <laughs> we were talking about how kids at school would be like uh my underwear is green <laughs> did you guys ever experience that I was yeah, cracking socks. up but yeah Under my socks are green yeah they would like try and trick you like place you couldn't look to know that they had their green on so I didn't have to trick you today I actually wore green I'm so excited because I'm just I always forget to dress like the holidays it's not it's not a strong skill set of mine. <laughs> I never know. I don't know the days that great. 
Okay, so we're almost done curling. I'm just gonna finish um, curling these last couple pieces. So I'm on the right side now and I'm going to curl towards my face. If anybody's interested in learning how to curl towards your face, you'll notice it's just a little bit different than curling away from your face. Okay, so now I want a bigger section and more elongated in the front. So I'm going to do that bigger section, not rotate as much and then I'm going to draw down. Okay, so I also want to pull this piece forward because I like how these are looking when I do a more like curled under look on them right now. I don't want them to get too like Farrah Fawcett on me right now, so. All right, so um, one thing I did want to talk about, oh, I like how that came together. I think that's good with that headband. Okay, so I think this would be a great Coachella start. So this is, could be a day one for you. Just starting with just your curls down and not doing a lot to your hair so that you have to adjust a lot of things on day two. I like the day one to be down hair so that you have your nice fresh curls on day one and then we'll move on to a day two. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is the guidelines. I want everyone to make sure, it's been coming up in customer service uh, a few more times recently, which tells me that I haven't been talking about it enough. So I'm just gonna remind everybody, your guidelines staying crisp and clean is a good sign to say that you're not using too much tension. So make sure that if you see your guidelines wearing at all, it means you need to loosen your tension. Tension is how tight you squeeze these plates. You don't want them to hit plate to plate, okay? Your plate to hair. Shoes, I'm shaky today. Okay, so plate to hair. I think it's because I injured my shoulder yesterday. <laughs> I need to lighten my bag. I, I really I did something funny to my shoulder. So if I look a little shaky today, that's why, because this shoulder is a little gimpy. <laughs> if I do anything that cringes. Okay, so um, okay, so we have headband and kind of a, you know variation on perfectly undone. Let me pull my hair forward so you can see what that looks like. So I like this look. I think I could rock this look if I was going to Coachella, which I am not, but good luck to everybody that is. That seems like a very fun place to be. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you was um, a little variation on day two that I think would be cool. So you could, you know, you could change your part on this or you could stay the same. And then you want like a nice thin headband for this look, okay? And it has to be pretty tight on, like that other headband was looser. So we wanna to move to a tighter kind of headband. We're gonna take really small sections and we're gonna tuck them through the headband and just wrap it in, okay? And you don't want this to have like, you don't want it to go really long. You want it to wrap quickly. So, you know, like, in the past couple of seasons, we've been doing like really loose and um, really loose and pulled apart braids and looks. And I think we're tending towards like a tighter braided look now. So that's why I want to, you know, pull these tight in here because I think for a while we would have done it looser and now we're going to change it up a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to wrap this in through here. Just said that they'd like to know where you got that first headband from. Ah, Jalen's closet. Okay. So do you know where Jalen got it by any chance, Jenny? I do not. You don't I know? We'll no. Later. Yeah. Okay. We, we will find out and we'll try and comment back to everybody on that later and put it somewhere for you guys to find. <laughs> I know that's the tricky part is finding those things, right? I'm sure there's a lot of them available on, you know, just any website, right? Amazon. I would think Claire's or anywhere would have one. Claire's or Charm's. Depending. Charm's yeah, Claire's, Claire's. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're getting a lot of Claire's and Char Charming Charlie's in here, so those probably have it. I like those headbands though. They've been in for a little while, but I think they're, they're still definitely wearable, so. Okay, I think I have one or two more wraps back here, and then I'm gonna have Jenny pre check for me. What do you think, Jenny? Do I need more, or is that good? One more right here. Okay. <laughs> Add one more wrap in? Yep. In the middle? Yep. Okay, so one thing you want to note about this look is to have enough spacing in it, right? So you want to have enough space that you can see the headband. Um, and mine actually worked out to have it like in between, like one little wrap in between there, okay? So you'll want to kind of pay attention to that. Hopefully the back looks okay. Do we look okay? Yeah. Okay. 
cute. So I like this look. Okay, one thing when we did the practice, hold on, I have to reach over here real quick. So when we did the practice, we did this with like um, a bright headband, and that was really cute too. So if you had, um, you know, a headband or a look where you were having a really colorful outfit or something, I think this would look amazing in it as well um, so that you could wrap you know the hair around it I don't know if you want the sporty look or not but you know you could if you you know depending on what you're wearing but I think it'd be really cool to have like a colorful one in here too so remember to think outside of the box with all the looks we're showing you today you can really um, incorporate your style into all of it so I'll try and give you variations as we go through the different looks so you can choose what um, one would work best for you okay so what are we gonna do next are we gonna do your hair Sure. Oh, what do you, should we recap that? Is that the... It was just, you know, talking about where to wear headbands. Oh, yeah. Headband. So one thing about headbands is, I think I talked about that already, but yeah. if, if you have a shorter forehead, you might want to try a headband back a little bit. But, you know, I don't like people to be feel like they are, are glued in a box. Oh, I, I have a small forehead, so that means I can never wear a headband. Sometimes you just have to try it and then know what works for you. Because I don't like putting things in a black and white box, like small forehead, no headband. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> so, you know, I just, I don't like to do that, but I like to advise you like kind of the basics so that you know how to test something. So like if you're trying a headband here and you're like, oh, it's not working right, it might be that it's because of the short headband or short head forehead, or it might be because, you know, you just have, um, like the wrong headband for that look. So I don't want you to think like, ooh, I can never do that. Because I remember when I used to not like V-necks on myself, but I changed. Okay, so here I am with a V-neck on today. And ironically, I didn't even think of that. Okay, so, um, so we used Perfectly Undone as the basis for my look today and then just varied it into a, a middle part. So you can also use different types of curls for this, depending on what look you're going for. Um, so today we have a couple of different models so we can show you different hair types and different styles on different hair types, but they can be incorporated onto all hair types. So each, each hair, each look can go to any one of the models today. <laughs> Woo, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> What's that? Easy for you to say. Yeah, easy for you to say. Right, right. Okay, so next we have Jenny. We're going to do tandem twists on Jenny. This is our, our nice little name for it. We're trying to name everything so that if you guys have any questions on a certain look, then you can ask us specifically that look, and hopefully anyone on our team can answer them for you. All right, so without further ado, let's bring in Jenny. All right. So they want to know about the headbands from slipping. How do you keep them from slipping? Does wrapping your hair around them keep them from slipping? Well, um, you know, I think it kind of depends on what headband it is. I think headbands are just going to slip for the most part, but I do know that some of them have that more like grippy feel in it. It's more like, what is that? I'm, like a plasticky silicone kind of I know, like, thing. Yeah, I think that silicone rubber. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, so that can really help keep it in place. Um, the other thing is you could, you know, in here, I'm imagining that what you could probably do is like under the hair here, I could probably take a bobby pin and and put it right in there. So I'll let you know how that works. I'll pin that in right now and see how that, that does. So we'll see if this side slips less than this side. <laughs> so you guys can keep me. Remember, I forget these things through throughout the thing. So you have to like update me like, oh, that side's staying better. <laughs> okay. So for Jenny, we're going to go ahead and I think we do a deeper part for this, right, Jenny? I think for this one that we practiced yesterday. I think we had a little deeper part. Yeah. Okay. So we are calling this one tandem twists. And tandem yesterday twists. we didn't curl the one side. Do you think we should curl that side today, or what should we be doing? Probably works a little easier, huh? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Let me get my iron here. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to do, um, I'm just going to do like elongated curls on Jenny. Actually, I'm going to start back here a little bit so that I can quickly curl it. Okay, so I'm just going to do kind of elongated curls and I'll change them up in direction because I think it'll be cuter with this look. We're just going to go in and 
And do you have upstaged in your hair, Jenny? So she, do, yes. Okay, so she has a thermal protectant that will show definition in her hair better and help hold, you know, her style for her. So that's what we prepped her hair with. Well, she did. <laughs> this morning, yeah. This morning, yep. Yeah. And this is a fresh blowout for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what we were imagining as um, day three for the styles. So day one is just wearing either no headband or a headband. And I should show them, don't let me forget later if anybody can remind me to show them just how to clip up hair on the one side maybe. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to go on and notice I'm not turning very much. I really don't want a lot of, you know, those tubular curls. I want them to be very um, defined and bigger. Defined as in like, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't want them to be really, I want a lot of valleys and peaks. I don't want them over curled like this. All right. So I'm probably just gonna curl one side of her hair so that, you. but you can imagine if it would have been curled from the day before how it would have looked. So that way we can move through the style faster. Ooh, I love that curl. Does anybody else love that curl? Ooh, I love that curl. It's neat. Pretty neat, pretty neat. That's like that nature walk. It's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. You can tell it's an aspen because the way it is. Has anybody seen that video? I think it's so funny. It's one of our favorites. It is. We love quoting that guy around here, the nature walk. Yes. I, it's not like the first time I watched it, I didn't think it was like so, so, so hilarious. But today, I, or you know, but once you start quoting it, it's really funny. Jacinda, they want to know if you curl on day two, do you add more thermal protectant? Um, I think it depends on, you know, how much you're going to have to be curling and the shape your hair is in. Because it should be in there already and like with, you know, it should be in your hair. I think it all depends on, you know, so, so many factors. I don't usually reapply the thermal protectant. But I think you have to kind of judge your hair and what shape it's in. Jenny, do you? I usually don't, no. Okay. But I don't usually have to touch up too many, so. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I don't know, once I put the iron down for day one, it's not likely that it's coming back in my hair on day uh, two, three, and four. I try to get out my brush and brush it and just kind of reshape them. And yeah, reshaping is a key thing, making sure that you try um, reshaping them first. So I would encourage everyone to try and reshaping before they go in and, and heat it up again. And they want to know if you spray it on, You can, can you spray it on dry hair before you curl? Okay, you can, but I encourage you to like let it dry first or like blow dry on cool a little bit to get it to set in. Oh wow, I made that really cool. <laughs> Tricky little guy. Okay, let me go ahead and straighten that a little bit more. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> And here's okay. one, how long do you heat the iron before you use it? <laughs> it takes 55 seconds for the iron to heat up. Hmm. So you don't have to wait any more than that. Unless you just like waiting, which I don't. So that's why I made it <laughs> heat up so fast, because we wanted it to heat up so fast. Okay, Jenny, I'm gonna scoot you forward just a bit so that I can get them to see this, okay? Try that. All right, so introducing tandem twist to everybody okay so i don't i do not want so our goal is here is to have some twists and they're going to come over i'm going to kind of lay it in like this and show you what the goal of it is okay so we're going to just twist hair in here like this so that it comes over now it's going to look better than this but i want you to think of so a couple of key factors is making sure that you're set up for this line to come in nice and steady without dropping too much or losing all the hair on the second twist, okay? So you wanna make sure you have enough room for twist number one and twist number two. Just like camera one, camera two, camera <laughs> one, camera two. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just kind of tentatively put in my section number one, okay? So that I can see. Now, 
I don't want a strict part on this because this is not a structured kind of twist, okay? I'm not trying to get it very structured, so I don't want the part to show, so I'm not putting in a really precise part, okay? I just want it to kind of be there or reminiscent or, you know, I just want it to be in there, <laughs> but not like, hey, here's the part, okay? So we're, this, for what I'm doing, I'm just going to um, kind of, kind of put the twist in. Okay, I'm going to trip on this cord if I don't get this figured out. Okay, I got it. I, I figured out what's going on. All right, trials and tribulations of doing hair on live TV. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Now, I think I'm going to use rubber bands where you can see what's going on rather than not see what's going on in Jenny's hair. So I think they could, you know, there's so, so, so many like rainbow loom bands out there that are available that you could really choose to really show these or not show them. Maybe on, on one braid, uh, one twist, I'll do clear rubber bands and one I'll do dark. So you can kind of pick and choose if it shows on camera. Um, so you can definitely choose like ones that would match your outfit or something like that. So we'll go ahead and start. Um, one thing that we can do, I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more upstaged in Jenny's hair to give it more grip because her hair is so slippery. So I think it'll help, um, you know, her, me achieve the look I'm going for here. Okay. So yesterday I started with the top one, but since I have this parted off, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the um, bottom one, and then I'll put in the top one after. I like to follow my excitement. <laughs> That's one thing we do a lot around here is follow our excitement, huh guys? Yeah. Yes. Works good. Okay. So. We're going to go in and we're just going to, so, you know, for the past couple years, those, everything has been so loose and we want to really start transitioning into these, um, tighter looks, right? Things put in, I don't know if structured is the right word because they can still be organic looking, but I want them to really be a tighter feel rather than everything pulled apart and disheveled. Does everyone know what I'm talking about? Are you guys getting Are you guys getting over the big pulled apart braids like we are? I think we're just kind of getting over them. They were so pretty for so many years though. Man, they really did a lot of great things for the hair world. <laughs> All right. So if you're not over them yet, you know, follow your excitement. You can still rock them, I think. If you're just learning how to do them, you know, or something, then rock them. It's like me, you know, with the the less makeup trend, I can't do it. I'm like, tried it for a couple and I'm like, nope, it's not me, sorry. So, I'm not going to rock them. Okay, so I'm just, to keep it nice and tight on Jenny's, close to her scalp, I'm really putting in the rubber band, let me show you here, okay. So I'm just working my way around to the other side because I want this to fade off under the curls is the goal. How's that feel on the old neckline? <laughs> Trying to put a rubber band in right there? Is it bad? Not at all. Oh, good. <laughs> put me to sleep. Oh, again. is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead and twist in the rest. And this doesn't, although it's supposed to be tight, you know, it doesn't have to be super, super structured, okay? So we're just, our goal is to just, you know, have it as a whole look great. Don't overthink this. All right, so I'm gonna do one tighter. I think I was doing the other ones kind of loose, so I think I needed to do four wraps. Like I might have done four wraps here to get this a little bit better, but we can always go in with a bobby pin and fix that. Okay, so that's um, twist number one. Now let's get twist number two. Um, I think it did work better to do twist the top twist first now that I'm seeing it in hindsight. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> yeah, because I think the top one might be a little bit more important than the bottom one. Okay, so I'm just pulling this a little bit because I don't want to see that definition here. Okay, so this time I'll use clear rubber band so you can hopefully maybe see the difference in how the clear 
you know, the more matching the hair rather than standing out from the hair. All right, do we have any more questions, Tammy, while I'm rubber banding this in? Let's take a look. How long in between washes and what dry shampoo do you use? Okay, so Jenny, you're... They're basically saying just send it to hold the curl. Okay. Because like, they say on freshly cleaned hair, it doesn't hold the curl. Oh, okay, so oh, no. when you have um, freshly curled hair, so Jenny, what is your trick? Yours is upstage, right? Is that what helps yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Mine curls the first day. Yeah. Now? Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now that you spray so upstage. That is, yeah. So what was your change? Was it the shampoo? Was it the upstage yeah, or what? Yeah, I think I just needed grip in my hair. My hair was always so slick before and almost, I don't know, it was too slippery to hold a curl. But between the, I don't know if it was the shampoo and conditioner, I think just even that alone helped give me a little grip. And then mm -hmm. the upstage took it to the next level where, you know, I don't even have to spray it again. You know, if I go four days, I don't have to reapply upstage at all. It gives that definition and that, I don't know, it helps hold them and give it enough grip to hold the curl. Yeah, because Jenny has like that baby fine hair. Mm -hmm. And um, what I love about the shampoo and conditioner is that it allows you to get your style and hold it no matter what your hair type is like. Right. Yeah. Okay, so let me put you back in camera so we can see here. Okay, so I've noticed that by pulling this down, so yesterday we didn't have any line here because I did the top one first, which I think I would recommend because my goal was to not um, have that line showing, but we'll see how it turns out today and then I'll let you know. At least you'll get to see you know, what it looks like with the line so you can choose if you want one or not. And if you don't want one, then I would probably start with the top one instead of the bottom. They want to know about curling someone else's hair. They want to know, do the guidelines still go to the head? Okay, so when when you're curling on someone else, um, the main thing is you want to s switch your thumb position from behind the blue light to behind the T in time. So that will help you switch. And then you do the same thing, the guidelines towards the head and then the guidelines away from the head. And I'll show you a little bit more because I'll be curling on Addy as well. So when I start curling on Addy, I can try and answer more questions like that. Remind me to address how to curl okay. on somebody else when we're curling Addy. So we have two things we have to remind ourselves of, yes. everybody. Yeah. Is everyone following that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm almost got this last one in here. Sorry, Jenny. This one's pulling. I can feel it. <laughs> it's not like little kids where you're like, ah. Oh. No. Okay, so let's see how this looks from the front. Okay. We love uh, a side updo right now. I think they're just really cute, and I think a lot of people are utilizing them in styles. And, you know, we're going to do some prom styles next week, so um, we're going to probably be utilizing a side swept thing as well mm -hmm. in there because I think they're just looking really good right now. So I think this is a really fun style. I did really, really loose curls on her because we're on, what, day three? Is that right? Yeah, so yes, we'd be on day, day three, three of curls. So you can kind of see how they would look. Um, actually, I think your curls even look less, cur or more curly than this on day three usually, don't they? Or yeah. <laughs> okay, so I overdid the, you know, like, relaxedness of them, but that's okay. It'll still look okay. You know, at Coachella, you might be like having a lot of humidity that makes me rock <laughs> right. more. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you in the back. So, you know, there's a couple of different looks here. You can let it hang over, which I think is a little bit of a, I don't know if younger is the right word, but you know, it's like a, what is the word I'm looking for? It's a different style, a little bit more edgy of a style. Okay. So if you want it to look more soft, I think you can just go ahead and take a bobby pin and pin that into this twist. Whoops, but don't show your bobby pin like I did. You gotta pull that in there a little bit better. Okay, so you can just pull it in to like merge it better so that it's not such a um, hard transition from one to the other. And I missed this spot. Let me go ahead and curl this. Okay. So I like it, you know, I think this is a softer transition more than it just hanging right over it, okay? So that's an option as well for you. So you kind of just have to toy with 
what your look is, what your outfit is like. Do you, are you wearing a more edgy outfit? If so, you might want to do that. Or if you want a more soft look, then you might want to, or you might, okay. So if you're having a more edgy outfit, you might want to let the hair just hang straight down. If you want um, a softer look, then you'll want to go ahead and pin it into each other and make them merge better. I think that would be cute. Okay, so, all right, so this is, what did we call this one? Tandem, tandem twist. Tandem twist. twist. All right, so two twists. So tandem twists, working in tandem together with the curls, and I think there's lots of variations on this. Um, we also thought that you might have, and I don't think we have the right headband for this, but you could imagine like if you had a stretchy headband, let me show you. I'm gonna show you with um, this other one. I think it could be really cool if you could imagine, I don't wanna put this on because I feel like it's not gonna look right. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come on and go like, why is, why that? is that there? So Where's let the... me try this blingy one that broke on us that we were trying to show you with, but it didn't. So I think, you know, if you had a headband that went right in here like that, I think in between the two twists it would be really cute. But we couldn't show you because voila, it broke. <laughs> so, you know, we're doing it live. What are you gonna do? All right. So, I think All that right. is Tandem Twist, day three, everybody. All so right. now we will bring in Addie for day four. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy St. Patty's Day Happy. in my incidental green. I have oh, green. Addie thought of the green. Good job. Did yeah. you do it on purpose? No, actually, I did it. You did it. <laughs> I did it. This is one of my favorite flannels, so All right, perfect. this happened to work. Okay, so this is Addie. This is one of our stylists. She's one of our virtual stylists, and she's in town, so that's why she's not normally on here. Um, she's in town visiting. So, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and do some curls on Addie. I've already preset in um, one braid. I've got a um, Dutch braid or an inside out braid that I just put in here so that we can finish out the look for you. But I wanted to like set in my line a little bit so that I can get it right <laughs> for you mm -hmm. in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish curling. Do you think we should do two directions, Addie, or do you think we should do one direction on your hair? What are you liking right now? Um, I do two. You're doing two, so yeah. we're doing mix-up curls, okay? And remind them how you're doing that. Oh, yes, else. okay, everybody. <laughs> so on myself, I would have my thumb behind the blue light, and I would be going and curling forward like this. On Addie, I'm coming in with my thumb behind the T in time. Can you see that? Thumb behind there, okay? And then the guidelines are here, so the guidelines go towards her head. Then I rotate back and away, and voila. Okay, we got a curl. Let me turn you a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to, you said alternate curl direction, right? Yes. Okay, so the first one, I pointed the iron down. Now I'm pointing the iron up towards the ceiling, rotating the guidelines towards me. And then I like to pull down at the ends because I really want these ends to drop like this, not wing out on me. Okay. So we're gonna go in guidelines towards the head, rotate back, and draw down. Oops. <laughs> not that not that way exactly, guys. That was not my most perfect this curl. There, that's better. I love epic fails. <laughs> They're so fun. Jacinda, somebody wants to know what Timeless is. Timeless, oh, Timeless is our new spray that's been amazing for repairing hair. It's so great. It really changes the texture of your hair for um, the look and feel. And I'm still in the testing to see if it fixes all the way to the core or not. Because, you know, as I said before, hair repair is a tricky thing for me because of all the gray areas in hair. So I don't think things are black and white usually because there's so many different hair types and so many different circumstances. So, you know, one of the things about repairing hair for me, because hair is dead, so it doesn't get to repair like skin does. It's a different kind of repair. So I'm trying to figure out if um, timeless repairs to the core or if it's just the look and feel. So 
you know, I'm, I'm still on the fence about what to say about it. So we're still testing about whether we want to tell you that it's repairing for real or repairing on the surface. So I'll get back to you on that. Um, but we think it's but, liquid gold. Yeah, but we call it liquid gold because no matter what, it's, it's feeling the amazing. result. And it's, it's literally, my, bro it's my brother goes, can you give me some more liquid crack? And I was like, what? And he was like, I, want, I need some more of the timeless because you, literally we have these little testers that are like this big. And he's like... He's like, if somebody sprays it in, they instantly want it. And so, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it except for that it's amazing. Have you been trying it? I have. Yeah. I like, my whole little thing is like already gone. I'm yeah. like dying to get back home to Colorado so yeah. that way I can get my actual big one. Yeah. I know. It's ridiculous. We have one in the bathroom you can borrow. Perfect. <laughs> we have it set in there for everybody to have great hair around here. So... Um, I'm like trying to save that little bottle of like for two weeks of being back yeah. home. And I'm like, this is not working. Yeah. It's funny. So how often do you spray it in? I spray it in like once a week. I do it quite a bit, but that's just because I'm trying to get my hair healthy again and growing. Okay. So I mean, I do mine at least like twice a week. Okay. So yeah, we, but what I do know is it lasts through shampooing and stuff. So it's just, it's really fun. Our liquid gold. <laughs> timeless. <laughs> All right. So let's get off the timeless subject because it's kind of sounded like an infomercial here. So I'll just shut up about it and move on. Okay. So back to curling. Um, so I'm just alternating curls on her. I also, so this would be day four. So I'm again, like really, um, making the curl look not as exaggerated as, you know, like day one is exaggerated a good word. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. I saw someone ask how your bobby pin's holding up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not slipping yet. Oh, I actually, oh, Look at this. Okay, so can I just felt back there when you were saying it. And I think that, do you guys, can you see this? So is this side a lot tighter? See how this is poofing up? Oh, yeah. 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 I think the bobby pin's working because it's on this side. Yeah, thanks for checking in. <laughs> I would have forgot for sure. <laughs> Until like, I'm like 5 o'clock this afternoon, I always want to like take a picture or something and be like, guys, this is what I was talking about earlier, but I don't know how to communicate it to everybody. So silly. <laughs> And they want to know why you're curling in two directions. Well, because I don't want the curls to merge together. I want a, a different look so that they change direction so that they don't merge together. You know, some people call it a sausage roll or, you know, there's a lot of different terms for it. But we want the curls to just really um, not merge together is the key. We want them to stay defined. Yeah. All right. So is your hair prepped with upstage or not today, Addie? Yeah, it yeah. is. Yep. Okay, so Addie has the upstaged in as well so that it can really show the definition as well. I have to say I can see the difference in your hair though. It's, yeah, it's kind <laughs> of so a lot healthy. healthier. Yeah, it's great. Jacinda, okay. talking about upstage, they said product often makes my hair look and feel dirty. Does upstage work better? Uh, yeah, and I think the key is, is knowing, you know, what product you're putting in and how much to put in. So we have the different, we talk about spraying with purpose or spraying, oh, what is the other one? Spraying to cover like a lot of Coverage, surface yeah. area. Coverage. Yeah, so I think the key is, is to make sure, I don't know, do you get a, a heavy feeling ever, Jenny? Have you no, ever done it? I love that it doesn't, it doesn't flake off or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really designed it to not have that real product feel, but still achieve all the, you know, the good things that you want out of a hair product. Yeah, just like the hold like and the slip, and I, want, I still wanted hair to feel soft, like like it might fall out, but it doesn't. It still has the hold factor. So, all right, so we're getting close to the end of Addie's. So how are style times going, Addie? Are you having a lot of fun doing them? Yeah, they're awesome. They're definitely fun. Um, I feel like people a lot of times now lately I like know what they're doing and I kind of just like have to change their curl for them and I oh, feel like yeah. these lives are like helping people actually kind of um, understand it a little bit better without having to actually me fully explain. Like square one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can help them with different types of curls. Yeah, right? I feel like a lot of it is just more like changing their look now for them yeah and which is a lot more I mean it's fun doing it either way but like changing their look and showing them different curls is definitely a little more fun than 
Starting from the basics. Yeah, one of my favorites when um, I would be teaching them back in the day was when when people would have their aha moment. I just yeah. love that. They're like, <gasps> yeah, some of the reactions are so funny. Yeah, they're, they're so, so great. awesome. <laughs> I, that one, we have it, like, as um, we put it out a lot. Um, I think her name was Jennifer, and she was so amazing. She was so, so fun to watch. I just, I was seriously crying the whole time, laughing so hard, because she was like, oh, that was amazing. And then she goes, now how'd I do that? <laughs> I was like, yes, that is so funny. It's was, so true, though, because that, that, that does happen a lot. They're like, oh, my gosh. And they're like, okay, now, how did I do that again? Like, what did I need to do? Yeah. Well, and it, it's always little tweaks, don't you find yeah. that? Oh, my gosh. It's the smallest things. Yeah, like, oh, put your thumb behind the blue light. And then yeah. they're like, oh. And then it's fixed yeah, or well, something. Or when they say, it actually works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens so much. Yeah. <laughs> what's the main fix you usually do? Like, what's your most common fix? Um, I would say the guidelines, people just have troubles understanding what the guidelines are and that they really need to go to your head is probably the biggest thing I'm always trying oh, to yeah. correct. So like this, if she came to her head like this and she had her, everything set up, but she, she thought she was going with her guidelines in the hair like this and she goes like this and then you broom your motorcycle, you're like having to really over twist and that doesn't work the same as just putting it in see the difference yeah and a guidelines lot of people yeah. really don't realize like they think they have those guidelines that they had when they're in with them facing away from their head but yeah. like they just really don't that's like the biggest thing I feel like that I had I to correct I agree that was like something that you addressed with a lot of you address with a lot of people yeah, yeah. all right so last curl And not last curl. I dropped a piece out. It's so funny when people say, now wait, how'd I do that? Because even yesterday I did a curl on Jenny. And I was like, oh, now wait, how'd I do that? <laughs> so we were looking it up today. That's what I like about videoing is because you can really see a lot of differences that you created and things like that. Yeah. In, in just a little curl. So you can recreate it later. Okay. So we've got day three curl. All right. And so I've started by putting um, one braid in. I'm going to loosen this braid just a bit, and it's not as, um, so much to get that pulled apart look, it's more to get a fullness look, right? So I like braids to look a little bit fatter, so I'm not trying to over pull this one. So when you're pulling a braid apart, what you wanna do is just pull the very edge. You don't pull the whole piece consistently, you just pull the very, very edge. And I'm just pulling ever so slightly because I just want to give her um, braid just a little more bulk to it. So you see the difference? And then I'll transition it into just getting a little bit smaller. So you can't tell that I pulled it apart. Okay, so there. So we have it just barely pulled apart and fading into that. Okay, so now we're going to go in and I'm going to do another braid here. So the goal here is to just get two braids working together to go down this side, but I don't want to pull up all of her side, okay? So I just want a small braid in this section that's going to go tandem with this one again. So now we're doing tandem braids apparently on one side, okay? So we're going to start with an inside out braid. Um, can I have you just lean this way? We don't have a name for see. this one yet, but... Yeah, we don't have a name, so if anyone has a name for this look when it's done, please let us know so that we know what to reference it as. Okay, so I'm going to do one cross under and then another cross under before I add hair, okay? So now the third cross under is where I start adding hair into the braid. I don't like to do it before because all it does is make your first couple pieces fatter looking instead of like nice and defined. So two crosses and then you add in hair. Okay, so what else do you need to know about braiding? Um, right now, I think um, one of the things we debated about was that a lot of these braids are looking better with like smaller pieces getting added to it every time. You don't want to do big pieces. You're trying to add in real small pieces, so that will help. Is there anything else that I really wanted to cover in this, Jenny, right now? Show um, how to part, but maybe you can do that on yours. Oh, I can do it on the next one too, yeah. Oh yeah, that'll be, that's so key. I remember when I was learning 
to part for sectioning hair for haircuts. My mentor, I was telling him that I was having trouble, and he goes, why are your parts so crazy? <laughs> and, and I was like, I don't know. And all it was was a simple trick of laying the comb flat to your head. And I was like, oh, well, that's an easy fix. Like, I was trying to just do it with just the very tip or the edge of it because I thought it would be more precise, but that doesn't work as good. So it, I think it's because it would allow too many hairs to get caught with that little piece. So I'll try and show you guys that. Um, later when I go to the other side to create a part all right so we're just going to have this braid go into the other one so now here's you know you can have variations on this you can um, and like when I did this on myself earlier today I ended one higher than the other because I I didn't want it to look too what's the word I'm looking for? Native American, you know, like, I, I love that look, but I was trying to go for more bohemian, so that's what I was trying to get. Um, or like boxer, or I don't know, there's just a lot of variations. So I'm gonna end this one just a little higher, because I think it'll be um, cool for this look. And I'm telling you, these little rainbow loom bands are like the best for, for getting your hair, like, so you don't have too big of ponytail holders for this. I feel like everybody must know about the rainbow loom bands now, don't they, for hair? I think they're, mm -hmm. I feel like. But if you didn't have kids, I don't know yeah, that you'd know about them. I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what rainbow loom bands are? Well, like, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so if you're ever looking for little bands, you can like go anywhere and just look for rainbow loom bands. And are those get, like, just like the colorful little? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never heard them, heard them called like that, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. I like Rainbow Loom because it was like a, a guy that invented it. Um, he invented it and he said even one time his rubber bands came to him and they were so dirty they had to wash them in the bathtub. <laughs> I was like, boy, do I know about... I mean, we never had something exactly like that, but I do know, like, as an entrepreneur, I'm telling you, you come across things that you never thought you'd come across and you're like, how do I fix this problem or how do I overcome it? Okay, let's tip this way and show them. So we have two lines of um, Dutch braids or inside out braids, depending on what you're thinking of. And let's see how that looks. So see, you could go with just one side like this, um, but I think in spirit of Coachella, we're going to do uh, one other one over here. And that way I can show you things about parting and stuff like that. And everybody, you know, there's a lot of different things that look good on people. Like, you know, finding your braid, like if your head is very narrow, you might want to like take your braids further apart because it will help give the illusion that they're further apart. Or if you have a very wide head, maybe you would want to take them up further or do two braids instead of one. So, you know, I was looking at the difference between Chloe and Kim wearing braids today and I noticed that Chloe has a different shaped head than Kim Kardashian. And if she would, when she wears more braids, it looks really, it looks a lot better. So, you know, Kim has the right proportion of everything, so, <laughs> so she can rock that. But, you know, it's just one of those things you have to take into consideration. Like, you know, does my hair look good parted in the middle or is it better off to the side? Things like that will really help you, you know, enhance your look. But, you know, because what, what works for one person doesn't work for everybody across the board. So just kind of take those things into consideration. All right, so um, my goal was to, let's see. So I'll show you kind of how I debate on a look. So like if I wanted Addie's to go like this, so I'm trying to figure out what looks better on her. And earlier this morning, I had her braid going more down and I think hers looks better coming closer together like this. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I think what it does is it gives her more fullness here. So. Um, I think that's why we like this braid better because the other one went further this way. So I'm not sure why that works so good on you, but that's what we like better. So that's what we're doing. We're following our excitement on it. Okay, so I'm going to, let me show you about parting. So if I was going to go in and create a part, if I just went like this, do you see how it's not really straight, okay? So I just took the tip of my comb and I just kind of ran down it, okay? But if I take something like this edge and I go in and I really like not push so hard but I have more of the comb touching the surface area 
I can get a much better part within that. Okay, so hopefully that showed on camera, that you can get it much closer to the scalp and really get a good defined line. And I lifted it off at the bottom and that's why it got a little crazy on me. Okay, so I felt like I was gonna run into her ear and I didn't want her, you know, to injure somebody on live, so. <laughs> That suck. <laughs> Could you imagine? She's like, oh, pull out all my earrings on my ear. Oh yeah, that would suck too. Alright, so um, I think I'm going to, alright, I don't know, because we're only going to do one braid on this side. So my debate is whether I should, you know, kind of make it proportional to the other side. So let's debate about that together so you can see how I debate about finding portions. So if I just took this and did a braid, that would be one way. So she can have more fullness on this side, okay? And then I could take a bigger section and make it more proportionate and just do one braid. So which one did you like, Addie? Um, so here's more full. The second, I think. You like it more yeah. up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so now we have to debate if, is that the same portion as the other one? Can you tell? I feel like it looks like it, but it's kind of hard to tell because of the light. Okay, sorry, <laughs> It's like guys, really maybe. bright. Yeah, same. So I'm going to, I wonder if this is going to look weird. Okay, so we're going to try it. We're going to wing it and see how it goes, okay? Because <laughs> we did these on me earlier, so it was a little bit different. I think what I'll do is I'll run your line a little bit different. All right guys, here goes nothing. So now that I have this part um, set in here, I'm just going to put a clip under here so that I don't take any of this hair while I'm braiding so I can keep my section. All right, kids, wish me luck <laughs> on my good direction in my little phone mirror. I can't, I can't <laughs> tell how it looks, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do three equal sections and then I'm gonna cross under and I'm gonna cross under to the middle. So for those of you who don't know how to braid, you're taking three sections, you put them, um, cross them under for this kind of braid. So they go down towards the head and then you add hair in, and then you cross it to the middle and add hair in every time. So your goal is every time you cross the hair to the middle is when you add hair to it, okay? And there's lots of different holds for these, you know, kind of braids. So you just have to figure out what kind of hold works for you. Um, normally I don't braid the way I'm braiding right now, but to, you know, kind of show you guys and still be braiding and not be right in the camera, I'm braiding this way. So my braid probably won't look as good as my other braids usually, because that's not my normal. I usually braid more like this. So. I call it like, I, I pretend like, it almost looks like a gun, like when you're a little kid and you have a gun hold, and then you would cross under, and I use my middle finger to hold the hair that I'm crossing into the middle every time. So that's the way, and the closer you are to the middle of the braid, the tighter your braid will be. When I hold further down from my braid, my braid gets looser. So for these, I like to be tighter braids, so you're going to go ahead and hold really close to the braid. Okay, so there we go. Braid number three done. So let's hope our portions turned out good and everything looks even and cool and ready for Coachella. Just so we have a question about getting rid of static in your hair. Okay. So what kind of static, did they happen to say what kind of static? They is? did not. How, okay. did, how do you get rid of static? How do you get rid of static? So I think mostly um, static is, you know, from hydration. So if your hair is hydrated, it shouldn't um, really have that staticky problem. So there's, you know, you can solve it from your foundational products or you can solve it, you know, after the fact. We found that I haven't encountered static in like a year since I've been testing our products. Jenny hasn't encountered it yet. I was so, just gonna say that. I feel like I haven't had any static since I've been using shampoo and conditioner. Right, so you know, we found that we've solved it by actually hydrating our hair. 
But there's little tricks that I've heard um, about like using a dryer sheet is one. Do you know any more, Jenny? Right offhand, we were talking about that. Being I used right. to use dryers. lotion. Oh yeah, you could try lotion. Yeah. Um, what did you say, blow dryer? An ionic blow Oh dryer. yeah, making sure you use an ionic blow dryer is key. Or timeless. <laughs> yeah, timeless. I wonder if timeless, yeah. I feel it has in mind. Yeah, I and bet you that does. In it. Yeah, humectants are the key to helping that, so. Hopefully that'll help her with her. Static is such a pain. Mm -hmm. It really it is. <laughs> you, get, you can't do anything. You're like, oh, I'm trying to fix it. Okay. So I like how this looks. I think, ooh, I got these the same actually. So that's pretty good. So you could, you know, add a second braid or I kind of like this. Show them up close, Addie. You want to get up close and show them how that looks? I think those are pretty cool. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. So when I braided this braid really tight in that one section, I was trying to recover from doing it loose. What it does is it kind of lays funny. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out and I'm going to loosen it a bit so that it's not so <laughs> uptight. <laughs> all right, there we go. You don't want it looking all crazy like uptight at Coachella, I wouldn't imagine. Okay. <laughs> So, um, you know, I think Addie might be able to rock this other headband thing with this. Let's see how this looks. We're taking a chance here, people. This was unplanned, but I think it would look cool. So let's see how we do. Did I get it on right? There we go. How's that? Oh, that's kind of cute. So you could do further down because of her look, you know, so you just have to change the portion. Ooh. Very princess. She's like a bohemian princess. Okay, so I love that. So, you know, whatever you want to do for your date or look, you know what I mean? I think this would be a cool, cute little look. Good, thanks for modeling, Addie. Very cute. All right. I have a cute question I'm in love with. How long did it take you all to get the iron down for curling and not have to think about what you're doing? <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that's tricky because, you know, when I was creating it, I had it in mind. So for me, it was from inception. Um, I think, uh, how about you, Jenny? How long did you take? Uh, I only took, honestly, 15 minutes. Okay, so Jenny was 15 minutes. It. Jenny is a hairstylist. Addie, how long were you, do you think? Um, I mean, I feel like after the first time, I think it was Kendrick that showed me, it was just yeah. that one time, and it yeah. was pretty yeah. good after using it a few times after that. Okay. I think just when you get the hang of it, yeah. once you get it, you get it. It's yeah. just that aha moment. That yeah. aha yeah. moment. Yeah, you're good. That aha moment is everything, and it's basically, once it clicks, you're like, oh, psh, and you don't have to think about it anymore. Um, but, you know, before that, you might overthink it. So all you need to know is a couple things. Thumb behind blue light. Rotate guidelines towards the mirror, and that's pretty much it. Make sure your guidelines get the hair in between them. That's the key, key, key factor, right? So if you don't get the hair between the guidelines, you're not going to curl. So if you kind of rotate it when you're not thinking, you're all of a sudden like in a world of not going to be able to curl. So you, you can, you know, overthink it too. And then it's funny because when you make the transition, all of a sudden you won't have to think. You'll just be, you'll think you're doing it wrong. I, I've seen um, women do that on FaceTimes so that are like, Oh, and they're like, oh, am I doing it right? And I'm like, yeah, you got it right. And because they just like start thinking it was going to be harder than it is. And I think there's such this like stigma that it's going to be hard, but it, I just think it's not. I think yeah. once you get it, you're like, oh, it's not hard. There's it's a just lot of overthinking. Yes, sure. it is. Overthinking will get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been doing that a lot lately. The overthinking, mm -hmm. not on hair, but about other things. <laughs> all right. So before we get into show, all my oh, what was I going to show? Oh yeah. The, yeah, putting up one side. So, you know, one thing I was thinking, like if you didn't want to just have a straight down hair day, the first first day is you could like tuck one side up into, you know, a headband or you could just, you know, pin it up as well. Especially so, if bangs are growing out. Yeah, yeah, if you're growing out bangs or something. Like there's lots of different things you could do like that, you know, so... So don't think you're limited to having your hair down on day one either. So I actually think that would be cute to put up both or something. So, so you know, just play around with it. I mean, have fun, especially if you're doing a festival. I mean, everybody loves, like, you know, being a little bit 
getting out of your box at a festival or an event is very fun. So, you know, take a chance on yourself. You deserve it. You we have a deserve really it. Cute request. Um, okay, a cute request. To host a video for dads with daughters and hairstyles. Oh and yeah, we could absolutely do that. That would be so cute. Yeah, actually, okay. I think we have one video. Yeah. Of it, don't we? <laughs> we do have a, a daddy daughter one with Kinley in it, and and so Gabe, our uh, he's the head of our IT. So um, yeah, we could do something like that. That would be fun. When is Father's Day? We should do it June. then. In June. Okay. So look for that coming in June. Somebody remind me. <laughs> okay, so oh, we have a couple of things. So last week we asked for help finalizing the name for our wallets, okay? So our wallets were, um, I was very tired of having to deal with changing out my wallet from one to the other, um, from one bag to another, and so I wanted to create a system that would work for kind of anybody or everybody. Um, so you can like individualize your wallet. You can get, you know, your your credit cards and your money in one or you can order two with a zipper or one without I mean you can customize it to whatever you want so um, we needed help naming this wallet and this wallet okay so we were you know on um, essentials and non-essentials and I asked for help so now we have our winner to that so um, I thought there were a lot of cute names but one person like even though it was a very simple thing, she really just got it. So, um, so she said essentials and essentials plus. I'm like, oh yeah, it's all your plus cards, all the cards that you don't carry every day, everywhere that you need when you go out, all those things. It's plus a coin slot or plus a zipper for some people put receipts in it. So essentials and essentials plus wins. So congratulations, let's see the winner is Carrie Edwards Johnson. So congratulations to you. And that goes into our clutch system. So thank you very much for the help in naming that. So um, Carrie, if you can send us your um, mailing address and your email address, and your choice of which um, color you would like. The one I showed was Simply Gold. We also have Midnight Brown and No, No, Notoriously White. Okay, so Notorious White. Notoriously White, I always get yes. that confused. Oh, okay, so congratulations, Carrie, right? Was that right? Okay, so we also had a St. Patty's Day giveaway on our Facebook and Instagram pages that ran this week, and our St. Patty's Day Iron winner is Caitlin Bates. So congratulations, Caitlin. We are very excited about everybody who entered and all of the cute, 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 lucky things everybody was writing about. I really enjoyed that, you know, the spirit of that one. That was really great. I love, love, love hearing people be thankful for the things that um, they are lucky for. Because it's really good. It helps bring more, you know, I'm a big believer in that stuff will come back for you. So thank the, you know, Thank, for, thank you for everything. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Jacinda, before we do the rest of the winners, we have one question okay. that your brother Kendrick would really like you to address. <laughs> All right, Kendrick, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? <laughs> I need, this, is, this is someone writing in, I need advice about keeping my hair feeling fresh after a workout. Okay. I got my hair conditioned to not have to wash it every day. All right but started working out recently. I now feel I have to wash my hair every day due to having it up in a bun during a workout. Okay. How do you get the creases out after you have it up for a long time? Okay, so there's a couple of things that work really well to help you when you have, have you know, you went through a workout and now there's, you know, you're having trouble with you know, keeping your hair looking fresh. So a couple of things I would suggest is a, a dry shampoo. Um, we like two things. We like um, Kevin Murphy Fresh Hair and Batiste, is that right? So Batiste is another great fresh one. Is there anything else that you've liked? Those are my favorites. Are my favorite. Yeah, I don't use it a lot because I have thick, coarse hair and I just don't, you know, have that. Um, so if you're somebody that sweats a lot, that would be a good way to solve the sweating kind of thing or an oil buildup kind of thing. Now, the next step is, you know, just doing touch-ups on your hair. So if you have a bump in your hair, so or a crease, let me see if I can create a crease. Okay. It's a little hard for me to do, but let's see if I did it. No, I didn't do it. Hold on. Let me see real quick. Let me try. Okay, so crease and then curl. 
So, uh, well, let's just pretend I have a crease here, okay? So if you have a crease somewhere, I, it's really hard for me to make creases. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just so hard. Okay. I think it's because I always set up the direction, right? I think that's a huge thing in avoiding creases is setting up your section. So I always set it up without even thinking about it and pulling it forward like this. So it's just really hard for me to create a crease by doing that. Anyway, if you had a big crease, there's a couple of things you can do. You can just take this exposed plate and run it on there like that, okay? Or you can just barely close your iron. You notice that, look at how you can see the plate of my iron, right? That's how loosely I hold it. That way you won't take out the body or the fullness, but you can just get rid of like the ponytail crease or, you know, things like that. Um, just and sometimes just embracing that new shape can help you, right? So if you have like just a little bit of body in it, maybe you just need to touch up like two to three pieces real quick and that will help you. So sometimes you just have to embrace the look and work with it and see what else you can learn. I think that's why I'm constantly fidgeting with my hair in here is because I'm like trying to embrace whatever the middle of the look I'm in creating for you guys. <laughs> I think, you know, I'm always constantly trying to make it look decent as we're doing that. I'm not that much of a fidgety person as I look on here, I think. <laughs> I, I wouldn't consider myself a fidgety person usually, but on here I notice myself constantly touching things and fixing it. Okay, so um, what's next? What do we have? Do we have winners for today? We sure do. Here US, I go again. <laughs> US Iron winner is Ashley, and it's Weasenzel. It's W-E-I-S-E-N-S-E-L. Okay, Ashley Weasenzel. Weasen Wenzel? Weisenzel. 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 Okay. Tricky one. Okay, so that's our, what, I, which, what is she? Iron. She's the iron winner. All right. So then we need the zip time kit winners. So hopefully these people are going to some kind of festivals or something. You know, there's a lot of concerts that you have to have a clear bag to carry in, and I thought this would be cute for that. I don't know. <laughs> so hopefully somebody's going to a concert or something. Okay. So, who is our zip time winners? Okay, first one, Christine Terrazas. Okay. Terrazas. <laughs> Christine Terrazas. Okay. Tricky ones today. Uh huh. <laughs> Nina Hudson. Nina Hudson is one of our winners. Darlene Uplinger. Darlene Uplinger. And Paige Adams Battles. Paige Adams Battles. So those are our four zip time winners. One of you will be getting the golden ticket of Timeless. I can't wait to hear what you think. You guys, it's magic. I wish I could show you like, oh, I just wish we had more frizz around here, but we've been using it, so I don't ever have it to show. Dang it. Oh, but anyway, it works. Someone has a good name for our, our dry shampoo. Oh, yeah? Erin says our dry shampoo could be called Time After Time. Oh, yeah. Time After Time. I love it. That's cute. Yeah, cute. Okay, remember, remember that one for a while. We should keep her name in case she names it. Yeah, okay. You might, you might get a surprise in the mail like six, ten months from now, however long it takes us to figure out a great dry shampoo for people. So, Okay, so winners, please remember to private message us your uh, mailing address and your email address, and we cannot wait to see you next Friday for up styles, updos, prom styles, however you want to look at it, you know, good updos, hopefully. Great updos. Let's, let's channel great, great updos. All right, thanks everybody. Happy Friday and St. Patrick's Day. Bye.